played <laughs> with friends. Hey everybody, what's they, more, what's I was more gonna grating? Say, though, they they did Grindhouse, and Grindhouse was a lot of fun. Never seen it, but you never saw Grindhouse? No, really. I'm surprised. People always say it sucks. You saw Death really? Proof. Really? Well, no. I'm surprised. Wait, you saw Death Proof though? No, I didn't. Oh, I thought you did. No. Oh, that's part of it. Uh, I've never seen it. Death Proof's fun. I thought everyone always says that Grindhouse sucks. I I don't know why. It's good. Uh, Death Proof is a lot of fun. The first, the first one is just kind of okay-ish. Do you think Machete was good? I never got to see it. I thought it was poopy. Yeah, I didn't really like it too much. But Grindhouse was fun just as an actual experience going to a theater and getting to see something like that again. Having fake trailers in the middle and everything. I saw Drag Me to Hell in the theater and was the best movie experience I ever had. Excuse you. It was very fun. That was the best experience you ever had? Yeah, because mm -hmm. you didn't have to care about the plot too much, because people always ruin movie experiences when you're trying to get invested in That's something true. serious. And everyone was having a good time, and it was really fun. And I liked the movie. And the music's good. You know what, I'll say this. Because if that was the best experience you at least got to have, that makes some sense. I There's movies I wish I could have seen and actually gotten like the full experience, because I still hate myself. I didn't get to see Hateful Eight. I, I mean, didn't see that. The idea that they give you like pamphlets and everything, there's an intermission in the it's middle. It's a real movie going experience. I, that is something I would kill to have. I would love to have an experience like that, and I didn't get to see it. It makes me sad. Why do you want to have an intermission? Because, one... It's, it's fun. If it's, a, if it's a film that's actually crafted very well... You'll then, be invested. You'll be like, oh boy, I can't Chris, wait to get back. Kill, Kill Bill was supposed to be one movie. It wasn't supposed to be broken into two. There was yeah. supposed to be an intermission in the middle, and they were telling him, like, no, you can't do that. That, that, no, no. No one oh. will go to see that. But I would fucking love that. I would love to go see that as one big thing. There's, like, an intermission in the middle and everything. I would fucking love that. That'd be a lot of fun. Because that's what it is. It gets to become an event. You're not just seeing a movie then. It's like a huge event. That's good. That's a good idea. I, I like that. That's what Grindhouse was. And guess what? It didn't, it didn't do well. No. Oh. I was really happy that I got to go see Grindhouse. I didn't... The the group of friends that I had back then, I was I didn't expect that they yeah, would it's a fun time. be into that kind of thing. It's a fun time. But, uh... uh <laughs> The the segue I was hoping to make with all this mm. was that uh, we saw Cloverfield Lane uh, recently because uh, I I never actually had seen it before. Julian did. You see that slowdown? It's I, gone now. I uh, I really enjoyed it, and Until I already the I already I already knew all the history. I knew all of that. I knew about the ending. Yeah. Went into it still, and I was like, okay, I know the ending's gonna be stupid. Whatever. I'm just gonna. Hold my attention towards the actual movie part because that part's actually really going yeah, to be enjoyable. It's really good. And it, yeah, it's fucking great. And then it gets to the ending, and I was anticipating it and everything. And when it came, I just remember thinking, like, holy shit. Okay, as as much as I've been warned about this, it's it, still awful. It exceeds it. I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah, it's terrible. It's oh my god. And it keeps going too. And that's it's just JJ Abrams jerking himself off too. It wasn't brief. It goes for way too much time. Yeah. It's awful. Uh, I I wouldn't mind that either because Julian, I remember you were saying like yeah. uh, your roommate was complaining because he's like, oh, why they call it that? I wouldn't mind if it was just called that and it was still just the same movie and that ending yeah. wasn't there. I'd be completely fine with that. If it's like, oh, Cloverfield will now just be a series like that. Like what happened? Well, with it's Halloween? probably not going to be. I don't. Oh imagine. no, of course not. They I don't think they're going to make. They tied one. it in for a reason. It was just a stupid decision that they made with that because it's like, oh, let's just repackage the movie because yeah. we don't have the confidence for it to stand on its own. Let's take a little trick like that to get people to go see it, which they didn't need to do. It was a really good movie until that. I don't yeah. know why they did that. I love fucking John Goodman. He's, he's one of my uh, favorites. That, it reminded me that he's a good actor because yeah. I, I got used to him in like bit parts. That's also that was the thing with his uh, his character in that too. You actually like feel sympathetic with, for him at actual points. Like you can get behind what he's doing. Yeah. You can rationalize and say like you know what? Yeah, he's he's a uh, he's a little over emotional, and he he lashes out and goes cuckoo bananas a lot of the time. But at the same time too, it's justified. Given what he thinks the situation is, he's a little kooky. Oh no! But he's rightfully kooky. I'll be really sad when he dies. Yeah, I love him as an actor. But what can you do? J.J. Abrams gets another book. I like when the funny saucer sprayed the fart cloud at her, <laughs> and then she action hero kill it in yeah. the car. Oh, yeah. And then she heard the radio, and they say we need help, and she go. 
I'm gonna fucking save the day, and she drive off. And it goes, Ray, hey, baby. She looks at the camera and says, "I'm Iron Man." And then go, bing bang boom. I need to watch Iron Man one again because even though I don't really care for superhero movies, I really liked Iron Man one. I like everything about Iron Man one except for the villain. He's super boring. I uh, I think this is what I've just been realizing because I don't really care much for superhero movies is the less it feels like a superhero movie, I think the more it works for me. And I think that's why Iron Man kind of worked because the first half doesn't necessarily feel like a superhero movie. Yeah. And that's another thing is in a lot of like superhero movies, the movie usually gets boring once they get their powers and they're like, yeah. I'm kicking ass now. Or if you, it, I think the worst is when you force in origin story and it's like actual like straight comic I, I guess I you know what I don't know Iron Man's history though so maybe that was very straight and direct but that was one of the few times I really enjoyed uh, a film like that I really liked Spider-Man 2 by Sam Raimi I need to watch it again because I'm wondering it's one of my how favorite I feel about it now. I, yeah, it, it's I'm, super I'm goofy but it's super I good it now. I love that movie how I feel about it is when the Avengers first came out it was a really funny movie and I was like wow superheroes are funny this is cool, but now that's like every superhero movie. And they did after that Wonder Woman. I could, I could tell like uh, they were trying to do a little bit of a Marvel. And after a while, it just starts to get like, okay, I get it. You're all quipping jokes, and now I, I don't really care anymore because it doesn't seem like a big situation. But like, I don't know. If if they don't do that, then usually they come off really droll and boring. But at this point, it's just so oversaturated, and none of them really stand out. I, I'm looking forward to that Thor movie that's coming out. It looks really nice. Uh, he's he's fighting the Hulk. The he, Hulk. It looks cool. And he said, "He, my friend." And the Hulk said, "No, you are my enemy." <laughs> Why does he sound like that? <laughs> he was dropped in China before he got flown to space. <laughs> I thought that it was supposed to be the inverse. I thought Hulk fight the, the a, what's the alien Thor called? Thor Gelda. No, he has like the horse face. What's his name? What are you talking about? Kubelo. What is his name? Stubbly. No, I'm I actually no trying idea to remember what you're talking now. about. Flimsindio. Oh my god. Chris, look this up on your phone. Grandil. That's a stinky fart. Look that up on your phone. What? What was his? It's something Bill. What? Blinky what? Bill. No, what is his name? Kill Bill. <laughs> Kill Bill. <laughs> oh my god. For Lordy. Thor versus Beta Ray Bill, is that what I'm thinking? I have no idea. That's his what name, Beta Ray Bill. I don't okay. know what that is. I've never heard of that. Okay, never mind. I'll oh, shut up. Have you ever tried reading comics yes. an, from a new perspective? I haven't actually really tried reading comics. I'm I've not tried a... so many times to get into comics and people always recommend me stupid shit and it makes me hate them even more. Which one is, have you been reading? I hope it's nothing current. No. Okay. Um, the last thing I read... I remember someone recommended the comic of Civil War, and I fucking hated it. And then someone recommended Marvel Zombies, and I got this annual, where it had a bunch of comics in it, and it started off and I got really invested, and then it just turns out they didn't know what they were doing with it, and they just got bored of it halfway through, and it didn't conclude it. That sounds like a thing that would happen. That happens to every fucking comic! I don't know any good comics. Please recommend me a good comic. And then I'll read it and I'll hate it and I'll say Frank, fuck you. What? Frank is good. Yeah, read Frank. What's I like Frank. The a lot. comic? That's the oh. yeah. That's the remember the the weird cartoon man that you said was real trippy. That's a comic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a fucking. It's a. It's too mainstream for probably anybody that cares now. But uh, I, I've always enjoyed Robert Crumb. Cool. Uh, People will say you're a weird sex pervert now for that. I mean, I am. <laughs> it's true. I'm saying. Woman or sluts. Yes. Okay. Filthy sluts. <laughs> Why won't they all come over here now? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs>